Once again, and we thank God for granting us the opportunity to see this day and to be able to pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you all for joining us. Once again, here for prayer for the nations here at New Living International Christian Center. My name is Pastor Floris Lyman, and I welcome you all as you join us in prayer just for 15 minutes. We trust in God. Just for 15 minutes as we pray for ourselves, we remember others also right across the nation. So thank you all so much for joining us this time. Hallelujah. Also, just to let you know that our YouTube channel is up and running, your NICC. So if that's the medium that is comfortable for you to use, please feel free to join us. And just to also let you know that um, you can share this video to be a blessing um, to others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, wow. As you can see, um, we have been praying for mothers women any woman that is acting in the life of a young person any woman that is performing motherly roles motherly duties um in 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 the life of any child we have been praying as we celebrate mothering sunday um starting from um last well starting from last sunday so we are continuing to pray um, using the scriptures in Proverbs chapter 31. And our title for today says, May your children call you blessed. Oh, who will not want their children to rise up and call them blessed? You tell me, brothers and sisters. Just think about it. Um, just think about all the labor you have labored over your children. That's the desire. That's the desire. And scripture even says that's the desire of God for us. The scripture says that we will live to enjoy the fruit of our labor. That labor, not only in other things that we have done, but also in the lives of our children. Also the labor we labor so that they, too, when they are old, they are grown enough. They've gone to, to, to gotten married. They've had their children. You know, the scripture says we must live to enjoy our children's children. You know, it's all part of the blessing. For everything you've done in the lives of your children, your children should be able to get up and say, oh, mother, you are blessed. And I know as I say this, some of you as mothers might be saying, oh, but my child never called me blessed. My child has never appreciated me. My child has never, I pray and I trust God that one day their hearts will be touched to remember your goodness, your labor, your suffering, your hard work in their lives. And that will drive them to come back to say, thank you. You know, to show appreciation, to call you blessed is a sign of appreciation because they know the journeys that you've gone through back and forth just to just to, to get them where they are today. Amen. So let us look at scripture. Let's continue with the scripture again from um, Proverbs chapter 31. So from today, let us see, let us see, let us see where we can take it from. Yesterday, we got up to... Wow, that's so much. Okay, we got up to verse 21. It says, when it snows, she has no fear for her household. Yeah, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. 
She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate. When a woman, a, a mother looks after her husband, oh, when a wife looks after her husband, the Bible says she's respect, he's respected at the city gate because when he comes out, they know that, wow, this one, his wife is looking after him. May that be your portion. Hallelujah. Your husband must know God and they're looking at him like, ah, you know, obviously, you know, I can understand that. So women might feel that, oh, their husbands have not treated them well. That's why they've ignored them and all of those things. But God's desire is for husband and wives to treat themselves well. Amen. So it says, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land, she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. Hallelujah. We are clothed with strength and dignity. Mothers, guardians, foster carers, we are clothed with strength and dignity. It is not easy looking after a child. And these children are God has blessed us. The Bible says they are a heritage unto the Lord, which means we have to take care as we raise them up. We don't just raise them up anyhow. And to raise them up in the right way, wow, it draws, it draws, it can suck our energy. <laughs> wow. That's why we, we prayed yesterday for fresh grace, fresh grace, fresh grace, fresh strength to, to, to multi-tax. You know, everything be refreshed. The Bible says, the Bible says, and she can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom. Oh, motherly wisdom. You know, the same book of Proverbs reminds me of a scripture I always quote to my children. You know, it says, it says, wrap the instructions of your mother around your neck. You know, it says, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Oh, wow. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. No, 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 no. Going from place and place, gossiping 24-7. That's not our duty as mothers. <laughs> our hands are full enough. Amen. It says, her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Oh, may that be your portion. He said, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Brothers and sisters, even though it's not a competition, but the word of God says, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Hallelujah. So don't be embarrassed don't be ashamed if other people see you that you 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 surpass them in the way you present yourself you surpass them in the way you do things in your home others look at you and they are jealous of you they don't know the sacrifice that you are making oh yes to see your home be the way it is some people just thought you just slept on a bed of roses and just got up no People don't know the sacrifices that you make. Some places you don't have to go. Some things you don't have to do because you want something to happen in your home at that particular time. Because also there is all, you know, there is a time for some things to, to come to fruition. Now, after doing all of these things, the Bible says, your children shall rise up and call you blessed. Maybe as we speak right now, some of us are feeling some of some form of guilt and things here and there. I say, wow, but you know, is there something I've not done? Maybe that's why my children have not called me blessed. But I pray. The Bible says that he will receive our offering. He will see our offering in front of him and he will remember us. Hallelujah. May the Lord remember you and I in the name of Jesus. May the Lord remember us for the work that we've done in the lives of our families, in our households, in the name of Jesus, that our children will call us blessed, in the name of Jesus, that no one will enjoy the blessing that we have labored for. Like the scripture says that we will live to enjoy the fruit of our labor, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our children will rise up and call us blessed. Our children will not abandon us, not for many mothers, that feel hurting, that their children have run away. Their children have never come back to honor them. The Bible says, honor your mother and your father, ha, that it may go well with you, that you may have long life. In the name of Jesus, Father, we call forth returning sons and daughters unto mothers, unto fathers. In the name of Jesus, for as many children may be for one reason or the other, for one reason or the other, you know, sometimes some of us as parents, we might have embittered our children. The, the scripture says, let's not embitter our children. 
Mm, mm, mm. We might want to say, oh, well, we are the parents. Well, let's go by scripture. So some things might have happened and our children left home. But I want to pray. I release the word of God today. Like the prodigal son returned back to his father. We call for sons and daughters to their mothers, to their family homes in the name of Jesus. Oh, we say, Father, wherever we have labored of our children, in the name of Jesus, they shall come back to they shall come back to put a seed of blessing. They shall come back to say thank you. They shall come back to 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 restoration. In the name of Jesus, the words of appreciation that they never gave. Oh, they shall give it in the name of Father. May we not die as mothers go to our graves without receiving that 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 appreciation from our children. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. For many women, many mothers that have labored, Father will say they will eat the fruit. May we eat the fruit. May we enjoy the fruit. May we enjoy the fruit, the fruit of graduation, the fruit of childbearing, the fruit of celebration of every kind. Yes, in the name of Jesus, the fruit of celebrating their first job, in the name of Jesus, celebrating marriages, celebrating them in ministries, in businesses, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you that we give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Wow. May your children rise up and call you blessed. So shall it be according to the word of God, by the authority in the word of God, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray that nobody will enjoy your seed that you have sown in the lives of your children. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Wow. How? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayers. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't say you are not a mother yet, so this prayer is not for you. You will soon become a mother and you will understand some of the things that we are talking about. So start tapping into that prayer right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. I bring to you again a reminder of the series that we have going on on, on, on on Sundays during our Sunday service, the topic of discovering, developing, and deploying your spiritual gifts and talents, 12.30 to 2. Please do not miss this. You can find us also on YouTube and we are on Zoom. Please visit our website so that you can see all the details or you can visit our Facebook and partake of this awesome series that is being taught by our pastor. It's been awesome. Again, reminding you not to forget downloading your prayer guide. Hallelujah. Downloading your prayer guide, empowering yourself and filling up that prayer closet. Hallelujah. That the time will come when we are not able to pray physically, but we know that we have put something in the bank that will, that will avail on our behalf in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you. I want to remind you once again that this is your season and my season to prosper. Yes, your season and my season to prosper. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. And the Lord bless you richly. I'm going to leave us now with the rest of the announcement. And um, please feel free also to be a blessing to our ministry if you've been blessed so far whatever that is being done out there, remember thank to God sow your seed. For, thank God, Amen. God, thank God, thank, thank you for joining us thank today. You for now, joining here us today. now here is your opportunity to give towards NICC to and our ministry activities. As you can see, there's a budget shortfall for this year. However, your donations are making a difference. Here is our account number, which is 836-937-40. Sort code 208915. And you can also give to us via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash NICC giving. You can also give towards our senior pastor, Pastor Bumitokon, via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash Pastor Bumitokon. Now, you will agree with me that we live in a broken world and all the attempts that we make to try and escape it, they generally fail. But when God created the world, he created it out of love that we may experience his love. But sin came in 
and landed us in this broken world. However, God being so good has sent his son, Jesus Christ, so that we may experience God's purpose, God's plan, and God's power, even in a broken world. Now, if you have made the decision to follow Jesus, please let us know so that we can help you in your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Please remember that we have prayer for the nations from Monday to Saturday, from 12 noon to 12.15 GMT. And let me remind you that this is your season to prosper. Yes, your season to prosper. Thank you.